Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am actually back with a hygiene haul. So these are some items that I picked up from Walmart and Target. Um, just needed to re-up my supply on some of my favorite hygiene products. Also picked up a few random products along the way. I know that y'all love these haul videos, so I thought I would just keep them coming. I have some other content that I'm gonna bring to you all, um, hopefully in the month of April. But until then, we are doing some hauls. So if you'd like to see what I picked up from Walmart and Target, then please stay tuned. We'll start with Target because it's the least amount of items in this haul. And I have some news. So I actually went and got contacts today. Um, it was a big step for me. I've always wanted them, but I've always been too afraid. Um, just the thought of like touching my eyeball or putting something close to my eye always really freaked me out. So I've always worn glasses literally since the second grade. So over 20 years I've been wearing glasses and I got contact today. So um, it's taken some getting used to and um, not, you know, feeling anything on my face, that kind of thing. But I'm sure I will become adjusted to it soon. So with that, um, they did give me one of these at the office, but I also wanted to pick up some more of these contact lenses cases. So I got this from Target. You get four of them in there. Um, I do have astigmatism and both of my eyeballs have like a different prescription of contact in them. So I gotta make sure that I don't get them mixed up. So you get four of these for like three and some change if I'm not mistaken. So I picked up these contact lens cases. And they are right by the pharmacy in Target, or at least that's where it was for me. And then I also got some of my um, facial toner, Witch Hazel. It's by Thayer's, y'all. This has really saved my skin in the past year. I've had a lot of issues with my skin um, dating back to the end of 2019. I just all of a sudden start having issues, and this has really helped me. Um, I just started using this, I would say uh the end of last year and it really has made significant improvements to my skin in a short amount of time so this is the thayer's um facial toner witch hazel aloe vera formula i get the unscented and it is alcohol free um they don't sell this at my walmart so i've never seen it at walmart i always pick it up at target and walgreens has it as well so i got this and it is a 12 fluid ounce container of it and I also picked up some of these, I think you call them Ali or Uli, I'm not quite sure, but I got the Perfect Women's Multivitamins. They are gummies, you get 90 of them in there, and the serving size is two, so I'm guessing you take two a day. And I wanted to give this a try. I see a lot of people on TikTok talk about the stressed version of these gummies and how it just immediately makes you start feeling better. Um, I didn't want to get all of that right now, but I needed another multivitamin. I usually take the women's one a day gummies. Um, this, as far as price range, was maybe a dollar or two more, honestly. But I really wanted to try it out. I have been looking at it probably for a while now. Every time I go in Target, kind of eyeing them, not really wanting to take the plunge. But since I'm out of my others, my other vitamins, I thought I would try these out. So comment down below. Let me know how you like this brand of vitamins. But on to the Walmart items. I picked up just an eight pack of the Dove bars of soap and the sensitive skin. Um, even though I use body wash as well, I still like to pair my bar of soap with the body wash, if you know what I'm saying. So I grabbed a case of those. And then I also picked up some more mouthwash. I'm almost out of my Listerine. And y'all, there's a backstory behind this. This is one of those items that TikTok made me buy. I recently started watching TikTok. I just downloaded it, gosh, maybe two weeks ago and just started getting into it. I know I'm super late to the game. That's how I am with everything in life, honestly. I just... I don't fall for the hype at first and then after it kind of settles down i'm like okay let me check this out i love tiktok but um i've seen a handful of tiktokers talk about this um they're usually like dental hygienists dentists those type those type of tiktokers talk about how good this mouthwash is so i wanted to try it it's the crest pro health gum and breath purify gum defense it says that it reduces gum swelling and redness protects against gingivitis at the gum line, and it's a breath fighter. This is 33.8 fluid ounces in the smooth mint flavor. So um, I wanted to give this a try. I also saw it in those TikToks that people were saying how Listerine is bad for you and all this stuff, which I mean, I'm sure all of it really is not the best to just, you know, put it in your mouth. But as long as you don't swallow it, I mean, I feel like it gets my mouth somewhat clean. I wanted to try this out to see how I like it. And now, especially since I am using um, the Crest 
Pro Health um, toothpaste again. I wanted to kind of stay on brand, if you know what I'm saying, and use both of the same brand uh, toothpaste and mouthwash. So I'm going to try this out and let you all know how I like it. Hopefully, I'll bring back the empties videos as well. Walmart also picked up some of these posted uh, super sticky notes. I got them in pink. I really just wanted a, a solid small pack of the purple, but they didn't have it in purple. I guess I could have got it on Amazon, but I went ahead and bought it at Walmart. And then I got some of my favorite Swiss Swissverse exfoliating cotton rounds. This is what I used to put my Thayer's on with. Also apply some bio oil, a little bit of bio oil to some of the dark spots on my face with this as well. The exfoliating side is what I use to put on the witch hazel. Um, I use about I go over my face twice with the witch hazel just to make sure I've gotten any uh, additional dirt that may have been left behind um, after cleansing. And then on the softer side is where I usually just put a very tiny bit of uh, bio oil and I blot some of the dark spots on my skin and on my face. Um, I use it on like all parts of my body for any hyperpigmentation and bio oil really works. You can purchase it at Walmart or on Amazon. It's probably at other stores, but those are the two places I usually purchase bio oil. And then I got myself one of these Evolve styling brushes just to slick my hair back a little bit more. So I wanna start doing that with a little bit of gel just to get my poofs a little bit slicker um, and my edges, that kind of thing. But now that I'm feeling the brush, like really feeling it, it's not as hard as I would like it to be, but we'll see how it works out for me to slick my hair back. Just picked up some more air freshener. These are the Febreze Air Linen and Sky Air Freshener. The bottle is actually see-through which I didn't notice before. That must be new. Do y'all see that in there? You can see through it now. That is definitely new. So that's nice to be able to see the liquid in there, I guess, but it comes with two in there. It's a value pack. And then I um, also got some more of these Cottonelle wipes. A couple things I got from Walmart really weren't needed. They were kind of just splurges, some stuff that I saw that I wanted. Um, they had these in like the accessory section of Walmart. They were $6.88. Um, these are the Star Wars Mandalorian hair scrunchies, so Baby Yoda hair scrunchies. They are so cute. Um, honestly, the only time I really need to put my hair like in a scrunchie is if I get it blown out. My hair is long enough to put, you know, into a, a nice little ponytail. So I picked up these. I thought they were really cute. They also had some Lilo and Stitch and I think maybe Frozen. They have Frozen everything everywhere, but... I think those were the main ones they had. I picked up some of these Hanes Ballerina Liner uh, socks. It says they are breathable with arch support and a non-slip heel. Um, I got them in the extended sizes for women. So it's women's shoe size 8 to 12 because I do have big feet. But I usually like to wear these kind of socks with um, the little baby doll flat type of shoes. I only really wear those to work. Um... But I don't like just putting my bare feet in them because my feet may or may not get sweaty. And I just don't like that in those kind of shoes. Um, plus, they make noise when you walk if you just put your bare feet in them. I don't know. I'm funny about them. I used to wear them a lot like um, in high school or like the earlier years in college. But after a while, those things just don't support my feet, my ankles, my weight, and none of that. So I usually try to stick to other type of shoes. But um, at work, I do wear them because I wear them with dress pants and stuff. So I like to wear these little socks like this. Um, I had a bunch of these, but they've kind of got misplaced over the years. So I wanted to get some more. Then, of course, I wear those trouser socks that I bought a couple weeks ago with those flats as well. The last thing was definitely a splurge. I'm obsessed with like, you know, nightgowns and sleepwear, all that kind of stuff. And I wanted a really big walmart gown like i told myself i wanted a big grandma gown y'all don't come for me but i just wanted that kind of gown because they're just so comfortable so i did get this in a 4x which is a 26 28 and that'll be big on me well somewhat big and then this was 14.88 and it's like in this cheetah print and i just thought it was so cute and nice and comfortable and flowy and I just needed it in my life for whatever reason. <laughs> so that is everything from Walmart and Target. Thank y'all for coming back every week. I know my uploads have definitely slowed down. I usually, I used to upload multiple times a week, even like years before I would upload every day, but definitely down to a minimum of once a week. 
um hopefully this week i will get two videos out to you all so thank y'all for still stopping by my channel and checking on me and leaving such sweet and supportive comments i really appreciate it more than you know i hope all of you are doing well comment down below let me know how you're doing um as a matter of fact if you make it to the end of this video comment down below your favorite drink from starbucks i would love to try y'all's drinks or your favorite drink from duncan's i drink both or if you make your own coffee, just let me know your favorite drink, period. So thank y'all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.